Ever felt that your body symptoms don't fit into one clear diagnosis? Let's dive into a condition that's often misunderstood, undifferentiated connective tissue disease. Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Amber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine, specialist in rheumatology. I'm here to help you better understand your health, particularly when it comes to musculoskeletal and systemic conditions. My goal is to break down complex medical topics into information that's clear, helpful, and actionable. Today, we're talking about undifferentiated connective tissue disease, or UCTD. It's a condition where someone has symptoms of a connective tissue disease, like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, but doesn't meet the full criteria for a specific diagnosis. It's a confusing diagnosis for many, but understanding it is key to managing your health effectively. Undifferentiated connective tissue disease, or UCTD, is a term used to describe individuals who have symptoms of connective tissue disease, but their symptoms don't fully match any one specific autoimmune disease, like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or scleroderma. Think of it as being in the gray zone of autoimmune conditions. Connective tissue diseases affect structures like your joints, skin, and internal organs. In UCTD, your immune system is likely overactive or miscommunicating, leading to inflammation and a variety of symptoms. Symptoms of UCTD can vary widely, which is part of what makes it hard to diagnose. Common symptoms include joint pain or stiffness, often in multiple joints, rashes, sometimes triggered by sun exposure, fatigue that doesn't improve with rest, dry eyes or dry mouth, Raynaud's phenomenon, where your fingers or toes turn white or blue in the cold. These symptoms may come and go, which can be confusing for both patients and doctors. However, recognizing these patterns is crucial, a crucial step toward identifying UCTD. Diagnosing UCTD isn't straightforward. There's no single one test that can confirm it. Instead, it's a process of ruling out other conditions. Your doctor will start with a detailed medical history and physical exam, looking for patterns of symptoms over time. Blood tests are key and may include an ANA or anti-nuclear antibody test, which are often elevated in autoimmune diseases, other specific antibodies like a double-stranded DNA, Smith antibody, anti-Rho, anti-La, which may suggest early signs of lupus or Sjogren's disease. Rheumatoid arthritis antibodies are also checked. Inflammatory markers like a SED rate or CRP are useful as well. Sometimes imaging like an ultrasound of the joints or an MRI may be used to rule out other conditions also. Ultimately, the diagnosis comes down to having symptoms of connective tissue disease that don't clearly match any single disorder. The exact cause of UCTD isn't fully understood. It's likely a combination of genetic factors, environmental triggers, and possibly infections. For example, if you have a family history of autoimmune diseases, you may be more prone. Environmental factors like smoking or prolonged sun exposure may trigger symptoms as well. Sometimes a viral infection can be the initial event that tips your immune system into overdrive also. Treatment for UCTD focuses on managing symptoms and preventing progression to a specific autoimmune disease. Lifestyle adjustments can be helpful. Regular, gentle exercises like yoga or walking can reduce stiffness and fatigue. Protecting yourself from sun exposure and sun with sunscreen and clothing is vital if you have rashes or photosensitivity. Medications are frequently used also. Anti-inflammatory medications like NSAIDs can help manage joint pain and stiffness. Hydroxychloroquine or Plaquenil is a medication used for lupus, is often prescribed for UCTD as well to reduce inflammation and prevent symptom progression. If symptoms are more severe, immunosuppressive medications like methotrexate or Imuran may be used as well. Regular monitoring is important. Regular checkups with your rheumatologist is essential. Blood tests and physical exams help to track whether your condition is stable or evolving into a more defined autoimmune condition. Living with UCTD can feel overwhelming. 
but with the right strategies, most people lead full and active lives. Here are some practical tips. Stay informed. Learn as much as you can about your condition. Knowledge helps you advocate for yourself in medical settings. Listen to your body. Rest when you need to and don't push through fatigue or pain. Build a support network. Whether it's family, friends, or a support group, having people to lean on can make a big difference. To sum up, UCTD is an autoimmune condition. Your rheumatologist may give you this diagnosis if you don't meet specific diagnostic criteria for another autoimmune condition. Appropriate diagnosis and management by a skilled rheumatologist can significantly help you and prevent progression of the disease. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel and check out our website at chicagoarthritis.com for more resources. Remember, managing your health starts with understanding your body. Until next time, live well and take care.